Welcome, and thank you for taking the time to watch this demonstration on meaningful use, how to achieve the core and menu measures. This video demonstration is on core measure number 15, protect electronic health information. Let's get started. First, let's open up the PDF from the MTBC website. This is the eligible provider meaningful use core measure number 15 out of 15, protect electronic health information. Here the objective is to protect electronic health information created or maintained by the certified EHR technology through the implementation of appropriate technical capabilities. Here, the measure is to conduct a review or security risk analysis and implement the security updates as necessary and correct the identified security deficiencies as part of a risk management process. And there are no exclusions. Let's take a look at some of the definition of terms. Here, the definition that they want us to pay attention to is the appropriate technical capabilities, which basically means the technical capabilities of the certified technology. All of the certified EHRs are required to provide a certain level of security reports and audit logs that can be reviewed by the end users. And basically, this definition of terms of appropriate technical capabilities is to use the capabilities of your certified EHR to review your system and conduct an analysis of whether or not there are any gaps that need to be filled. And we'll talk about how to achieve that with the MTBC EMR. The attestation requirements for this are a simple yes or no. Yes, that I have conducted or implemented a security update or a security risk audit, and I've identified deficiencies and corrected them, or no, I have not done it. But of course, as we know, it's a requirement for you to have completed this assessment. Some additional information here, and you're free to conduct any type of security risk analysis that you feel is necessary, and it must be done at least once prior to the end of your reporting period. And a security update would be required if any security deficiencies were identified during that risk analysis. So if there's any update that you need from your software vendor, you would have to give us a call to resolve that discrepancy. So let's go ahead and take a look at the MTBC EMR and see how we meet this requirement. The MTBC EMR provides a series of audit logs and security reports that can be run at your leisure and at your preference. Let's take a look at some of those reports. First, if we open up the file menu and go down to the audit log section, we can see a series of audit logs that are available for us to run. The first report we will take a look at is the general log. And here we can choose a series of log types. For example, if we wanted to see all of the demographic information that has been updated in our EHR, we can choose patient demographics and choose our date range. And click search. Here we can see all of the different updates that have been made to our patient demographics since March 31st. We can also go back for a longer period of time and run the report again. All of these logs are sortable and searchable by date and time and patient's last name and first name. And there are a series of items that are also available for these demographic updates. We can see who created the specific demographic update, who modified any emergency contact information or cell phone numbers or spouse, or if the patient has been exempted from reporting. And we can also see, for example, the first item, which is, is this a creation of a patient or a modification of an existing record? And of course, the event time, the host name, and the dates upon which those items were modified. Additionally, the EMR also has a series of logs for such things as user logs, when have users logged in and logged out of the EHR, 
we can see all of the dates and times users have logged in or out. And upon double clicking on any of these records, we can see what that specific user accessed at that date and time. So here we can see these are the patients that were accessed by the user administrator on March 3rd. The EMR also has a very powerful user management facility. The MTBC EMR user profile allows you to create, modify, and assign user rights to all of your individual users. Your security audit could be a review of all of your active users and an analysis of their user rights to see if they have the appropriate levels of access. You may also want to review your report logs to review a list of all of the reports that have been generated from the EHR. Or you may want to review an e-prescribing log to review all of the prescriptions that have been sent electronically from the EHR. Or you may want to review a data synchronization log. And finally, you can review the general log to go into in-depth detail on any specific function of the clinical charts. For example, if I wanted to review all of the allergy entries that have been modified or created for any existing patient, I can simply click on patient allergies and select my appropriate date and time and click search. Here I can see all of the updates that have been made to my patient allergy section since this time frame. Additionally, I can see if that was a created account or a modified account. This functionality is available for any aspect of the clinical charts, including assessments, communications, electronic prescribing, reason for visit, family histories, and office tests.